Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red this uh, Tuesday morning. Rather cold Tuesday morning. I think it's uh, below zero this morning and all frosty out there. So you take care. Uh, Matthew chapter 24. And today we're looking at verse 41. Two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken and one will be left. So that doesn't mean that two women called taken and left are grinding at the mill. It means that there are two women who are grinding at a mill. So what he's saying is that ordinary life will be just ticking on by. Tick, tock, tick, tock. The normality of life is going to be the essence of the environment that will be taking place when this last judgment comes. It could be today. There's a sense in which we don't know. But ordinariness will be active. And just like he said before in the time of Noah, and that sense of normality, everything going on as normal, we don't know. How do we get ourselves as Christians to a place where we are living, as it were, on the anticipation edge of expectation of his arrival and yet it not fill our lives with obsessions so that we are drawn into almost um, extreme behaviour? That sense of balance between the two. Interesting that the women are grinding at the mill. They're making bread. They're providing, as it were, uh, food for the day. Uh, new beginnings. Uh, the, the expectation of a future activity. Grinding at the mill. They're in, doing their normal reality routine. Preparing for a future. And yet the end is about to come and befall them. And that sense of befalling them can fill us with dread but when we realize like it says in revelations that we are to rejoice at the fall of babylon we realize that what is happening is that the end of all that is bad is coming to an end so the end of evil is about to appear because god is bringing us as it were out of this realm of darkness and evil where the enemy is uh, causing havoc and the lives of human beings are just filled with suffering into a place where the new reality of life begins beyond the judgment. And it's not going to be in the realm of this earth, I don't believe, but the realm of a new beginning with a new dynamic working. I know there's going to be the zone time of the war and everything that Revelations describes to us. But the new beginning is about to begin. So, you know, we call it the age of Aquarius in the old days, uh, that television program. Excuse me. But that sense of new beginnings. And God is always wanting us to start again. He wants us to bring us into a new beginning. Will you let God bring you into a new beginning today where you have an expectation and anticipation of his arrival of new beginnings for you? Have a great day. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed and I'll see you tomorrow.